The second match from Corican Hall on February 23rd, 2024 was a tag team match that saw Yoshimiri Ogawa and Daga take on Super Crazy and Hajime Ohara. This was a brutal tag team matchup. Now, listen, some people knock guys like Super Crazy for being old and overweight and not the same. Well, all of that's true. But he's still a solid wrestler. What he has done is modified his style to be a mat-based wrestler that throws in a top rope splash or something of that nature here or there. He's learned to work differently, and he's good at it. Ohara is one of the best technical guys, one of the best back-breaking wrestlers in the business. And honestly, I think there have been times in Noah where he's not gotten the push he deserves. He's excellent. He's one of the best junior heavyweights in the world by far. I will agree that seeing super crazy in the junior heavyweight division is a little bit super crazy. <laughs> it just is. But, oh my God, Yoshinara Ogawa has to be one of the greatest wrestlers ever. Now, some of you are going to roll your eyes at that. I don't necessarily mean techni technically, you know, or, you know, he's better than Okada or Brian Danielson or um, what have you. You know, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that the man is approaching 4,000 matches. 4,000 matches. He's in his 50s. He's been wrestling since the 80s. He is a former GHC heavyweight champion, as small as he is. But he is one of the toughest badasses in all of wrestling. There's no way you can tell me he's not. He wrestles at a high pace, at a fast pace. Although maybe not as fast as he used to be. It's ridiculous that a man his age can get in the ring and perform like he does. Teaming with Daga here who I'm not super familiar with. I do know him. I know he's been in Noah for a little bit now. I know that he was with Tessa Blanchard for some time, and it turned out to be some kind of big mess, which I really couldn't care any less about. I'm just saying, I am familiar with him generally, but he looked great here. Noah is using him in a major way, and you can see why in this match. I mean, Super Crazy was no match for him. That's for absolute sure. Ohara can go with him. There's a match on Wrestle Universe where Ohara challenges Daga for the GHC Junior title, which Daga holds. And I haven't watched it yet, but I've got to because I'm hearing great things about it. And they showed it here. But look, the way Daga is being presented and used in this company, no one's touching him right now. He wins the match for his team, him and, him and Yoshinori Ogawa over Super Crazy and Ohara. And not really a big surprise. Ohara is really struggling against Daga. Now, he wrestles him greatly and they're incredible matches, but he just hasn't figured out how to overcome the man. And Ogawa just being, his presence is just impressive for all the reasons I've stated earlier. I love him. I love his matches. And uh, Stinger, his faction, as small as it may be right now, a few members in it, um, he's always held fast to it and refuses to give it up. And I appreciate him for that too. But this match was a solid tag team match. Again, nothing that is going to light the world on fire, but I love this kind of wrestling. It's not super fast forward. You know what I mean? I can watch them. There is strategy. There is psychology. It is perfection in regard to how it is worked. Not in regard to work rate. You know, some of you people out there wouldn't think it was fast enough or they didn't do as enough moves, what have you. But in regard to looking like a fight and making me sit on the edge of my chair with a big smile on my face like I did when I was a kid again watching the NWA, it absolutely accomplished that. And I appreciate it and loved it. You need to watch Noah. <laughs>